Okay, we're headed to Angel Fire, New Mexico for our ski trip. We made it to the mountains. Only took us nine hours. Hey guys, we made it. It took us 10 hours, but we made it here. We are in Angel Fire. We brought the Gladiator. It has, we did get the lift on it before we came, but my cousin just got a new Jeep, so they had to bring it. But we got to snow and there's 11 people in this house. I don't know if I can back, there we go. It'll back out. And Abby's gotta go play in the snow. But we are here for five days, and we are going to go snowmobiling, we're going to go cross-country skiing, and then we're going to go downhill skiing, which I haven't done in 12 years. Abby has never done, so we'll see how that goes, but you can come on our adventure. Okay, so me and Abby decided to go explore, and it's really deep. Abby's like <laughs> ankle deep. Oh, I just had snow go in my... How is it? <laughs> You're gonna end up with your booty in the snow. It's pretty deep. I don't know if you can tell. Woo! I keep getting snow like in my boot. It's cold because I don't have long socks on. Step over here. Just... I'm gonna go in the in the ones I made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, now your shoe's untied. I know, I can't walk. Sorry, it'd probably help if you could see everything. But it's so pretty here. So the only thing is like, this is like a maybe like one and a half. Next time we'll probably back in, cause when this gets icy, I bet that's, but that's what keeps are for. Well, Have fun in. <laughs> that's pretty high. Yeah. Don't fall. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a deer tag. Oh, we missed it cause there was deer poop up there. I don't know how we missed that. Okay. But this is our home for the next five days. Here's our sunrise this morning. Okay, so here's the entrance to the museum. It says it's open nine to four. This is super icy right here, Abby. Like super <laughs> icy. It's a cool little walk through. Yeah. Cool benches where you can sit at it. It's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. I can take a picture. Want well, all all the kids go stand in front of it? Wow. Well, I'll get it on the way back. Look, that was a close up of Abby's face. Ooh, I should have got my gloves. I don't know what temperature it is. I probably should have checked that, huh? Mm -hmm. My hands are cold. What? Oh, okay. Let's go to Visitor Center. Oh, that's way down there. I don't know what we're going to do that much. It says gift shop and... Yeah. This way is to the gift shop. Let's go inside. Okay, so this has a museum in it too, which is really cool. Definitely worth seeing if you guys come to Angel Fire. Thank you. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's what they wore. It was so cool. It's like a pilot chair. It's really cool. Really cool blanket that someone made. It's a really cool memorial. It's an awesome view outside the gift shop of Angel Fire down there. And then this says it's the chapel. Sorry, the swishing is my snow pants. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like an amphitheater. So here is the frozen lake of Eagle Nest. It's pretty. It has fog coming off of it. But. We're cross country skiing. First time for most of us. How's it going, Abby? Abby's a natural. Never skied, not even downhill skied. Sorry, losing my glove. We are at Enchanted Forest cross country skiing, which is really cool. Let's get the. There's the other crew behind me, but we're going. We're skiing. I don't know if you can tell. That's not a very good view. There's the other crew up there. Awesome. Beautiful day. Uh, it was 14 degrees when we started. Abby's going down a hill in cross country skis. Lean forward. Woohoo! Oh, can't see her. There's a big old tree in the way. Didn't fall. Now that may be different for me. Coffee, steam coffee, it's in a little train car in Red River. guys on the side of the road just chilling there's actually two of them so hang on I'll move can you see so you got that guy and that guy and then there's one going up the hill right there so the fisheries in the background there was no like, real easy way to get there to walk and so we came down to the creek so this is the Rio Grande bridge I guess you call it <laughs> oh sorry covering it up <laughs> got me out here on the cat, not the deer. We're all running out here on it the like deer. It like went off that way. Oh, it was a huge, it was a big cat. He's like, look how close this is. Holy crap. Wow, that's a big one. Really. Oh, that's a big one. 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 Oh,
He's like, you better have food, Riley. Keep looking to see if you got something to eat. Riley, reach out. Riley, reach out. Riley, reach out. Riley. Oh, Riley. Oh, Riley. oh my God. Oh, that's badass. I <laughs> Good job, Riley. Oh, my God. He's like, uh, where's the food? I got it. This is day number two. We are getting ready to go snowmobiling, and this is what we get. It's gonna be awesome. Snowing. Hey guys, our next adventure is snowmobiling. So, me and Abby are riding on one. Todd's riding on one. Reagan and Paul, Paul and Reed. But we're going on a guided tour out into there. So, you get to come on this adventure with us. There's Abby. Abby's not paying attention. Here we are with the line of people. Venado Peak, that's the highest in the Latiers, 12,737 feet. Now go to your left and you'll stop at the tip top of the Red River Ski Area tucked, in, tucked, tucked away there at 10,350 feet, right over this gentleman's head. You'll see it? Yep. Yeah. All right, then go to the left up the, up the bridge there, you'll see the next peak, that's Gold Hill, 12,711 feet. That's in the Columbine Hondo Wilderness, which is a little over 44,000 acres. Just on the other side of that cow ski valley. And then keep going to the left, that big mountain way off in the distance there. You, you see that little saddle on the very top. Peak on the right of that saddle is Mount Walter, 13,141 feet. Peak on the left is Wheeler Peak. That's the highest point in New Mexico, 13,161 feet. And that's in the uh, Wheeler Peak Wilderness, which is a little over 19,000 acres. If y'all want me, Hanger Dallas, take it. We've been getting to ride around in the Circle Meadow. But we stopped and we are going to go in these cabins and it's really deep snow. They said these were built in 1860s by one of the founders of Red River, New Mexico. And I'm out of breath <laughs> walking through snow. Woo! cabin hey we just got through snowmobiling and it was awesome we definitely recommend the bobcat wilderness pass adventure i think is that where we went but so cool we got to like drive on a trail and then they gave us like an hour to where we could do whatever we wanted go as fast as we wanted it was really cool so we highly recommend it so we are headed to tubing in red river now <laughs> How was snow tubing? Good. Uh, pooped. I <laughs> pooped. That was it was a, fun. It was a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Alright. Tough. I'll be skiing on our first day.
Look at our friend that's visiting us. You gotta get away so we can go see it to Grandma. We will. Sorry, all well, you see is a shadow. Great no, they'll job. run off before they do anything. They're only aggressive if you steal their lady. I'm serious. Yeah, well, I've seen videos where they. Yeah, they will charge. No, I, I agree. They don't. They don't. They won't know if you're. I would be much. It's easier. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, we should have brought some deer corn. Yeah. I'm gonna go upstairs. What? I think it's upstairs on the bar. What's upstairs on the bar? What's Did up? you ask Reed to bring it up to you? What's upstairs on the bar? What is it in the bathroom? Isn't that cool? What is upstairs on the bar? Just fine. chilling. Is it in the truck? That's why we're going out there in those okay. trucks that are... Just checking us out. You can already see it. What's going on? He's just trusting like, us because he likes it. Where's the dressing? Mm -hmm. Guys, our trip has come to an end. It is snowing. Uh, we're leaving. We got a 10 hour drive ahead of us, but this is our house. Hope you enjoyed our journey, our adventure. So make sure you like and subscribe. That's how we are going to grow our channel. Um, and comment below, like, if you've been to Angel Fire and we didn't get to do anything, because we'll definitely be back because it was really cool. But see you on the next one. So we are headed back. So we are headed back. We are done with our skiing adventure and we have 10 hours ahead of us from Angel Fire in Oklahoma City. But I'm gonna switch this around and let you know we are getting ready to have to drive it. So I can't, you can't tell, but it is definitely snowing outside. So we'll see what we get into. Driving through, I don't know what pass this is from I Eagle's Nest or whatever. Colin Niblet. Clear Creek Trout. Anyways, we're leaving Angel. Eagle's Nest. East. Oh, this is Clear Creek Trail. We got going on. I don't know what you think. There's 50 cars in this trailer. Oh, probably. Between. And front and back. In front and back, yeah. You can see behind us. That's my brother, but hopefully we'll go around a corner and you can see the trail of people behind us. There you go.